You know, 85, 90%. So, getting there one day at a time. What do you think you were in London? To drive? Probably like 65, to be honest. It was, um, it was pretty, pretty as close to game time decision. You know, they were like, we got eight minutes to, to turn it in. I was warming up. I think I slipped on like the second or third route, and it just, I didn't, I didn't know if I was gonna make it through the game. But, you know, thankfully I did. We got a bye week, came at the right time, had some time to recover and. Uh, get worked on pretty much all break. So I'm just about at 85, almost back to, you know, normal, so to say. What do these guys come after the quarterback? I think they have 22 sacks so far this year. How can you guys slow them down? Off? Uh, you know, get open, um, hit them with something quick. Uh, just just being effective in every way, offense, um, you know, running the ball, tear, just wearing them down. You know, they're, they're a great defensive line. Um, they, they definitely get to the quarterback. They get after him. So we, everybody has to do their part. How excited are you coming off a of bye with such a big game at home, division game against the Eagles? Uh, I mean, I'm just as excited for every other game. Um, you know, big, definitely a big game. I don't think I beat the Eagles since I've been here. Um, and, you know, it's a nice, it's, it's perfect timing, you know, right, at, right around the birthday time, pretty much on the birthday. So I always tend to, to rise to the occasion around, you know, my birthday time. So hopefully we have uh, a big game. We definitely need this win. Why do you think you, you have statistically more production in the second half of the season? Uh, I think it's because people wear down. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm a guy who I'm going home uh, today. I'll go home and probably do two hours worth of some kind of rehab, prehab, uh, make sure I stay on top of my body. So once it gets towards the back end of the season, I still feel like it's, it's week two uh, pretty much every game. And um, especially coming with a bye week dead in the middle, it gave me um, another week. So pretty much I'm be feeling fresh all year. You know, hope God say the same. Everything stays healthy. You don't get nicked up as much. Um, I feel like I tended to do better towards the end of the race. Is there anything X's and O's wise that maybe you, you're able to adjust to how teams are game planning against you in the second half? Yeah, uh, I mean, we're, we're doing the best that we can right now. Um, you know, finding ways to move around and not let them, you know, double so much and even at times, you know, running the linebacker underneath, it's it's um it's definitely tough. It's tough to to, to go against, and it's tough, you know, to want to be successful. And um, you're you're faced against some great obstacles. So, uh, you know, they play a lot of one high man. Um, hopefully, we can get them in some one high man and and see what happens. Are you expecting some changes to the offense in the second half? Um, I mean, we're four and three right now. So as long as we keep winning, I don't, I don't know. If anything needs to change, but um, definitely expecting more of myself, uh, making making all the plays that you can make, take advantage of every opportunity that you have. Um, I feel very focused uh, heading into the, the second half of the season, and um, I think this team does as well. You did a lot of damage out of the slot though the last couple of years. Maybe last year was close to 500 yards. Haven't really done that much this year. How much would you would you kind of be open or enjoy doing something like I'm, that? I'm I'm all. I'm all in to, to move around to cause, you know, controversy and, and make it difficult for the defense. Um, and you know, getting in the slot, it, it allows you to mix it up, give you a different look. It's tougher to it's tougher to double somebody in the slot. Uh, you just it, it leaves too much open. So hopefully, you know, I get back in there. We got a, we got a great slot guy right now. Um, we, I mean, all three of us can go in there. So pretty much, you know, go go wherever they tell you to go and then run um, what we're gonna run. The prehab rehab that you talked about is that something you've learned since you've been in the NFL? Or something? Yeah, it's kind of after I pulled my hamstring and kept trying to work on my hamstring, work on my hamstring, and obviously, um, you know, your body compensates, so it was never a hamstring problem. It was a, a spine stability problem, and your hips were getting offline. So I do. I mean, I've been doing it pretty much since since I got hurt, and I've stayed on it. Um, it sucks, but it, it definitely is it's worth it. Uh, you know, you're investing money into your body. Um, you may be taking free time to do other things uh, in, in that case, but I, I care that much about, about this that I'll, I'll sacrifice those hours for, um, to give myself the best me. How much you spend your bye week having to you know, deal with that, the injury, or were you able to just shut it down with rest? Like, that's sort of the answer for you. Um, it was definitely rest, but it was a lot of you know, two, three-hour sessions. Uh, 5 a.m. sessions, uh, just doing whatever I can to get back, to get healthy. So I definitely increased it after the game. It was horrible. Riding back on the plane, I couldn't find a way to lay down. I couldn't 
I couldn't really do anything. It wasn't. It's not so much a hip as it was an ab muscle, or you know, right along that that line. So um, I'm feeling better. Um, just trying to just trying to keep improving. How close to 100 do you expect to be this Sunday? You think? I, I'm at, I mean, I'm at 85 right now. I, that's where I feel is a number. Um, you can kind of still feel it when you reach certain ways and uh, you know twist in your your torso and stuff like that, but. It feels ten times better. I'm able to I'm, I'm able to practice, which is the best part. Um, it's not. It's never fun not being out there. Uh, that that's for sure. So we'll see Sunday. I'm I'm getting there. Odell, you've had oh, yeah. Ben McAdoo for the previous two years as, a, as an assistant coach, offensive coordinator. He's your head coach now. Anything you've learned about him you in your dealings, um, good or bad? Hey, that was dope. He got that by himself too. Um. I mean, I don't. I don't think he's changed. Uh, going from assistant coach to head coach, I think if anything, he's still trying to. He's trying to exactly figure out exactly how he wants to do things or whatever the case may be. And um, he kind of he observes a lot. I could tell he's a very observant person. He's always watching. He may not say something at the time, uh, but but he's always watching. So um, you know, I've been with him since since the jump. So it's pretty cool to still have. Um, familiar faces that that are around, and uh, I think he's doing a, a pretty good job for his first season. How about your, your individual dealings with him earlier in the season when you were going through the penalties and, and the network stuff? How, how, did, how was he dealing with you then? I don't think anything's changed. Uh, same conversations we would have today that we would have had weeks ago. Um, yeah, I don't I don't really think anything's changed. Uh, the, you know, keep going back to London, but how important was it for you, considering what you've been through and what this team has been through, to play that game? I mean, you could have. Yeah, I, it was it was right there. Um, and, and warming up, I even had doubts in my mind um, whether or not it's it's actually safe to play with with what I had. Um, but again, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do anything I can to help this team at, at any point in time, uh, and it would just it would eat me up even more if, if I didn't go out there at least try. Uh, you know, we we pretty much you know we work our ass off every day to get out and play these games on Sunday, and um, there's there's I definitely wouldn't want to spend it on the sideline and having to you know watch watch my team go out there have fun and uh, feel insignificant. You know, I want to be able to be a part of the piece. A piece of the puzzle, and um, I feel like I was able to help help out, do do whatever I could on Sunday. What do you see from the team in the final nine weeks of the season? What do you envision? Um, I envision us, you know, starting to win some more games, making that playoff run. Um, first and foremost, take care of these division games, and um, let the rest handle itself. All we can do is is be the best team that we can be and see what happens. And um, you know, haven't been to the playoffs yet. I would love to. I would love to be playing in January. So. I guess we'll see we'll see how we finish up.